to the City Highlight, and I want you guys to help me welcome Chef Willie. Hey, hello, Chris. Thank you for having me. What's up, America? What's up, Willie Nation? Yes, <laughs> Willie Nation. Yes, you guys. Yes. Guys, you, go, you know, I'm really excited about doing this entrepreneurial highlight, but I'm even more excited because, as you can see, Chef Willie brought food. He's going to teach me how to prepare quick, healthy meals for the girl on the go. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, first again, thank you so much for having me, Chris. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, being a graduate of the Lacord on Blue, I can cook anything. You know, okay. hello, I'm that guy. So, with that being said, I wanted to figure out, like, what do I bring to the city highlight? Like, what do I bring to impress Chris? Mm. You know, uh, I know we're watching our summer bodies. A lot of ladies, you know, we bit the, took this whole summer to put it together. Right. But now we're transitioning into fall, and I figure, okay, well, let's keep it up. You know, I let's keep it you, going. So on the table, I decided let's go a little south of the border, visit our friends down in Mexico. Hello, <laughs> Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and so now that's what we have here today. So, okay. Chris, I want to show you how to make one of my favorite salad dressings. Listen, if you look on the table, we already have a spinach salad going, okay, right? Okay. It is a classic spinach salad. Okay. It's spinach, red onion, some feta, and a little candied nuts, some strawberries. Mm. Literally one of the spinach salads you'll find at almost any restaurant, mm. high fine dining restaurant in yeah, the city. Of but what separates those salads is the dressing. Okay. Okay. Absolutely the dressing, right? Okay. So listen, uh let's get started. So you're gonna show me how to make my own homemade dressing? Wait, yes. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Are From you scratch. Serious? Your girl for to learn how to learn her own dressing. And y'all gonna learn what else? <laughs> yes. Believe it or not, it's actually easier than you think. Okay, okay. It's way easier than you think. But first, well, let's go ahead and you. get sanitized, get some gloves on. You know, the no, no, wait, Chef, you're moving me too Am fast. Am I moving too fast? Before okay. we get into okay. all of that, I really want you guys to get to know a little bit about Chef oh. Willie. My thing that. about highlighting people that. is it's important for you to connect with them, not only what they're entrepreneur endeavors are, but also to know who they are as a person. And when I heard Chef Willie's story, I knew he had to be an amazing entrepreneur highlight because Chef Willie don't look like what he's been through. Thank you, Chef. With that being said, Chef, okay. share with the listeners a little bit about your background. Give them just a little bit overall about who you are, not motivation, not all that, but just tell them the behind the scenes. Like where I've come like, from and then how did I get from. to this and like on your you show get, today? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> My God. Share with the list. Listen, because growing up the way that I grew up, it it is a miracle that I am here. Hallelujah. Honestly, it really is. It is a testimony that you could not you can make it out of your your environment. You do not have to be a product of your you environment, no matter where you come from, That's you know. Right. Um, I'm born and raised on the south side of Houston. Okay. Uh, south Acres Home. What's up, y'all? You know, right between Cullen and, and uh, Reed. You okay, know, like, okay. I'm, I'm back in the sky. Y'all know about Sunnyside, South Park, exactly. yes. in there. You know? Absolutely. So that's exactly where I'm born and raised. But the thing is... Um, when, when, when you're raised in, in the hood, right. most times you, you have you grow up with a hood mentality. Exactly. You know, I'm very fortunate that uh, my mother instilled in me both sides. She showed me that you, you can have this hood life, but you can also have a better life. That's right. That's you know, right. And, and you don't have to be a product of this environment just because you live in this environment. Right. She made sure I went to the best schools. Um, we Come made through, sure. Mama. Yes, yes. She, she, she made sure I got a great education. Um, and it, it was just really 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 great you know um now everything growing up wasn't amazing it wasn't hard. it was it was hard you know I mean, everybody um, had adversity absolutely you know um what we're from you know it's called getting out the mud right chris hello hello Listen, somebody. everything we everything that i've created today is literally nothing was given to me i didn't get a financial loan or anything like that like i literally figured it out and just did it i, I took challenges i took risks i've traveled all over with this chef career you know starting um in Houston, then going to the Cordon Bleu in Austin. Before that, mm -hmm. Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches, okay. right? So I got my four year. Then I went to um, an accredited Le Culinary Arts Institute. Okay, okay. And then from there, I went to Florida, started my whole career out there, um, traveled the world, Chris. Florida, Little Rock, Arkansas, wow. New York, New Hampshire, cooking. for God's sake. Cooking, you guys. That's yes. amazing when your purpose is met. Absolutely. And you know, I didn't know that my career was going to take me in this direction. Okay. I literally just tried to stay prepared for every opportunity that came my way. Right. And with competitions and just cooking and learning from the executive chefs that came before me, my career in the past 10 years took off. 
and here we are today. You know, it's 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 really it's really amazing. It really is amazing. But then again, you know, there's there's also the downside of business. That's what I was gonna say. You know, Woody, there's always the good, the bad, and the ugly. Absolutely. So we just share with y'all the good mm-hmm. and a little bit of the bad. Let's mm-hmm. get into the ugly. Honestly, show. it's a lot of the ugly, okay. and it's a lot of the part that a lot of people don't really like to talk about. Like right. even for me, Chris, like I'm gonna tell you something I haven't told anybody. You know, two years ago I was actually homeless. Right. Right. Listen. No, and Chef Willie, you was on. You was on on on, on the CW thirty nine. Yeah, yeah I was on CW thirty nine. Nobody actually knew that I was actually like going home to like nothing. Like I had not even a home. Like my friend, my one of my closest friends named Shawnee Files took me in at the time, and now she's like, she works for me. Wow. Long story short, right, look at God. Listen, but she took me in at the time, and she gave me a place to live. Like I was literally sleeping like. Like, I had $25 to my name after I made, like, a huge, like, horrible business, like, decision. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of, like, left me struggling, you know. And um, I had nothing. I had nowhere to turn. My brother... Um, he, he helped me out. My, my family helped me out. But the thing is my, my friend Shawnee, she was just like, Oh no. Like she literally was like, you can't give up. And like so many days I like cried to her and I was just like, I'm just, I, I don't know what else right. to do. You know, entrepreneurship is not easy. Not it is. So, I think I'm on my fourth business yeah. at this point. Um, but I figured it out and as, as each failure I learned and I didn't stay down, Chris, that was the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. And Having a support system in your life means the world, you know. Um, my 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 friend, she she bought me back up. My family built me back up, um, and I just came back sh- super strong, you know. Um, it, it was crazy. It, it felt like I'm I'm already entering into a new life, you know. When my friend took me in from the street, voice, like the excitement yes, and the zest and the it, it happens. The people that I met, like shout out to. All of Katie, Texas, like in real life, you know, because she, she took me from one area um, and brought me all the way to her home that I've never lived in that city before, okay. you know. Um, like I said, I'm from that side of right. Houston, like not that side. Right. So, so that's a big change, world. right? I'm Cinco. They know. <laughs> so, <laughs> they know. Uh, so it was just amazing that she gave me this opportunity. And then from there, here I am, a Cordon Group graduate working at the corner bakery making eight bucks an hour the cashier that's how low i had failed you know and not no not saying that anything is wrong with that job god will make room because what i realized is that job met me some amazing people and that job at that bakery i i introduced it just brought me back to life honestly and within six months and the people that i had met there Man, it transitioned into shout out to Houston's Black Restaurant Week. Right. Um, at the time, right before the pandemic, um, doing this like whole transition of my life, they la- allowed me to enter their Nosh Culinary Showcase. Okay. And from that showcase, um, is where everything just kind of blew up again and re-entered me in the world. So we're gonna go to a break right now. You guys, go ahead and get your favorite drink. Do what you need to do and come right on back. We'll be right back with the city. Yes, you guys. has an enormous and amazing story to share with us. But y'all, we're going to get into the cooking, and me and him are going to talk about that a little bit more later, because you just revealed some things to me, Chef, yes. and I really, we need to talk a little bit more. Listen, but let's it's get so into much. The it's so much, but listen, we're here for the food today, okay? So first, listen, let's sanitize, let's get our gloves on, and let's go. Because I told you, I came with some good stuff from south of the border, you no, know? No, no, you know, with, <laughs> the there, with the Rona out there the way it is, it's important that Absolutely. you sanitize. Absolutely. And then most of this food, we're going to be giving it to the, you know, the, the staff behind the scenes, you know, you guys. So we got to feed them. Hello? Let's do it. You got to take care of your people. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to show this recipe because the thing with making salad dressings from cra- from scratch is you don't ha- you know what's going into it. Yeah. You know. Yes. There's there's none of those no big science. words on the bottom of the bottom at the back of the bottom. Yeah, you don't science. even know what's happening. Absolutely. Chemicals. Those preservatives. There's yeah. too much going on. Too much. Listen. So listen. Let's just let's just hop right into it, Chris. Okay, I'm ready. So we're making a tequila infused mm. vi- honey citrus vinaigrette. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, it is. Girl, it is. Okay. Ooh, my so, mouth is just. Mm-hmm. So first we have our spill bowl underneath because okay. we're going to mix it right into our measuring cup. Okay, okay? okay. So okay. let's do it. So we have our ingredients right here. So let's start with the base, which is going to be our honey. We have two tablespoons of honey. Okay. Let's pour that right into our bowl. Ooh, got to get in there with your finger. Oh, I okay, see. Oh, see me? okay. Look, I want to make sure I get all my honey. It's hands on. <laughs> it is. Chef Willie. It is. Y'all remember the hashtag Willie Nation. <laughs> 
Nation. Come on, Willie Nation. Yes, Listen, yes. y'all. Right after that, honey, we're going to go with our little EVOO, some extra virgin olive oil. E -O. Okay. Pour that right into our mixing. Get every right after that, you guys, we have a little cherry red wine vinegar. We're going to pour that in as well. Perfect, perfect. Right after that, you guys, we have some lemon juice. Come on, lemon, lemon juice. juice. Yes. Boom. Okay, now we have to add our seasoning. Okay, okay. The first one, we have the classic mixture of salt, pepper, Spices. and then a little red chili flakes. We're going to pour that right on in there. Essentially, that's just like adding a pinch, you know? Yes. And then the secret ingredient to this whole entire mixture, tahini. I'm going right to take your word for it, Chef. Oh, look. This is the first look. time me making my own dressing, so I'm excited. Okay, so this. bring your spill bowl directly in the front of you, okay. and we're just going to use our whisk, and we're just going to go up and down really quickly, you know? And we're going to go up and down and mix it all the way together. And it's like, well, wait. We're missing an ingredient. Oh, no, boo. Oh, no. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Look, it's time to, you want to make sure that all of those ingredients emulsify. Look at that, y'all. Yes, you, you guys. You see the red peppers in there? Oh, it's looking Ooh, good. this is about to be You know it is, Chris. You know it is. But wait, there's more. There's more. Uh, tequila, hello. Oh, that's right. Listen. That's right. Shout out to 1800. It's one of my favorite tequilas. It has a smooth taste and it actually just blends really, really well into all of those drink ingredients. <laughs> I'm not going to play with you today. That's what I'm not going to Y'all know, you know, you know, you grill look, like a little. Look, so let's ingredient. go ahead and get our tequila. Did I get my own? Yes, I got oh. you your own bottle. Okay, look. Listen, the more the, the, the more you put, the little you put, that's your business. Like my auntie in my head, Tabitha Brown, you know what she be saying. That's, that's her business. business. Right. Hey, best friend. She's my best friend. <laughs> you know how she's America's mom? I'm America's best friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. She can mm -hmm. be my best friend, too. Right. Okay, let's do it. Let's pour some in there. Ooh, Chris. I'm going to add a little bit more than mine. I want to punch. How you feel? I, have, I put half the bottle. Oh. Chris, you going to put the whole bottle in there? Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. wait. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, we got to say something yeah. off, off the screen. Hello? That's what I was thinking <laughs> But listen, you guys, so this this alcohol is not cooked out, right? So you're going to get that full taste of that tequila. But essentially, it's just going to punch up the acidity Ooh, of that. that dressing itself. Mm. Listen, now, Chris, we have our tasting spoons right here on the side. Mm. Let's go ahead and, you know, you got to try as you go. So let's go ahead and give that a good little taste. See if we're missing any ingredients Come in there. What do you mean? Let's see. My God. My God. Ooh. Chris, you like that? that? Really Ain't good. it? And the thing of it is, it's, it's like. It's so fresh. It's super fresh. That strong, pungent taste of the tequila is actually muddled down by the honey, mm. the, the red wine vinegar. So you just get the pure taste of tequila, plus all of those acidic, the sweetness, the, the, the hint of spice from the red pepper face. That hint of spice. My God. It's, it's not amazing? playing with you. So we're going to take this tequila-infused mm. vinaigrette, and we're going to drizzle it right over our spinach salads. Because, listen, that's what sets it apart. Okay. You got yours over there. I got mine. Let's do it. We're going to do it just over the top, just a little bit. Ooh, my God, America. Get into it. Get into this drip. Ooh, shit. Am I doing it right? You're doing it amazing. Give it a little twirl in between. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I might be a chef in my next life. Right. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Look, and that is it. That's it. That is so simple. Oh my God, I'm really excited. That's my first time ever making, making a my salad own dressing. Dressing. Wow. And you saw how simple it was. Get I'm almost a chef, y'all. Look, but we gotta try it to make sure it tastes okay with okay. the salad. Look, use your tasting spoon. Grab your salad over there, Kristen. Let's see what we think. Ooh, wait, I'm nervous. Give it a little dressing, a little milk. My God. My God, America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've done it again. Mm, Thank mm, you, Lacroix mm, Blue. Mm, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> My God, look, don't finish it. Mm -hmm. We gotta get into the next dish. Well, we gotta get into the next dish, y'all. But we're gonna take a quick break because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I gotta get into mm -hmm. this, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish mine off set.
much for tuning in to the City Highlight. I'm excited about today, today's guest, Mr. Chef Willie. He's already showed me how to make an amazing salad with homemade dressing. And now we're about to get into some ceviche. Yes, you guys. The authentic Mexican shrimp ceviche. Okay. It's a good dish. It's a classic dish. I switched up with some of the ingredients just a tad, okay. but overall it is the exact same where you would find in most restaurants, like okay. I said, you know? So let's get right into it, Chris. Let's get right into it. So this one is a little labor intensive, okay? We gotta okay. we gotta use our knives, please. You know, we gotta get into it. Use knife skills very carefully, you guys. Very, very carefully. So first we're gonna start off with our bowl of raw shrimp. Yes, this is a raw dish, yeah. Chris. You know, ceviche. Yeah. It starts off super raw. The thing with our shrimp is you wanna just cut them as small as possible. Okay, so they can be so, absolutely so as small of a piece as possible, Chris. So just go straight into it. Um and, and the best part about ceviche is it's for feeling. It's super light. Um, you can eat a lot of it without feeling guilty. Um, and, and it just packs a ton of flavor, you know. And a lot goes a long way in ceviche. Yeah. Chris. A lot goes a long way. You said, like, I just chopped up these two shrimp right here, and it, look how much it came up. Yeah. So we're going to keep going. Come on, let's get right into it. So we have our shrimp. We're going to go right into our bowl with it. And it's all over here. Absolutely. That's our mason bowl there. Okay. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so sh sh how do you feel about eating raw food, Chris? I love sushi, I love ceviche, so I'm accustomed to eating Okay, so you and know. I do understand that when you add the lemon juice, it does kind of Absolutely. give it a little cookie. There we go, right there. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to do is get our veggies ready okay. and add those to the bowl. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys, look, in the front of us, we have a array of vegetables, and that's what I like about ceviche. It's one of those things where we have the classic recipe, but you can also make it your own. Okay, okay. So what I have today, we have a little diced up um, red uh, bell pepper. We're going to throw that in there. Yes, yes, we have some diced up yellow bell pepper, you guys. Um, now, the trick is when you're dicing up this bell pepper, you want to get it as small as possible, nice whether you fine. dice it or the lady at the grocery store dices, okay? Just make sure it's small, you guys, super small. So let's put that in there as well. Next thing we're up, we're going to add in our red onion. Ooh, I love a good red okay? onion. Okay, it's, it, it's, it's tart but sweet, and yeah. it, 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 it's just a really a good one, you know? And finally, we're gonna add a little heat to this. We're gonna add up our diced up serranos, you guys. So we're gonna throw that in the bowl as well. Now you can't use jalapenos, you can't use serranos. Serranos just give it like that extra heat, you know? Okay, okay. Boom. So now that we have our, our our shrimp, we have our veggies, the next part is to add in our acidity. Okay. So you need, um, I like to do a mixture of orange, lemon, and lime. Mm. Yeah, it's just to give it that little oomph, you know? Mm. So right in the front of you, let's take our lemon. We're going to cut it in half and squeeze it right into it. And then we're going to follow that with the lime and the orange. Okay, first. gotcha. Boom. So we just go straight into the bowl. Now, when you're squeezing in, y'all see how she's doing it? That is not how you squeeze this fruit into the bowl. Professional? Yes. No, professional. Look, you guys, you want to hold it up, right? Okay. And go over your hand. That way, the seeds stay inside the lemon, and you don't get any seeds in your bowl. Mm. So you just want to squeeze this up why you and need a over. Chef. Absolutely. Mm. Boom. And that's how you do it, you okay. guys. Okay. Learn something squeeze new today. Up. And, and we do the same over. thing with the lime? Absolutely. Oh, you're ahead of me, Chris. Come on. You know, speed is everything in the kitchen. So you say put it up, up and then squeeze. squeeze and yep. then turn it upside down. Um, but your hand is can. underneath if you do so you go under. The Absolutely. All right. Your lives got more, more juice than me. Okay. Okay, come through juicy lines. <laughs> Yeah, I know about a juicy line. Look, uh-uh, you, you get to hold that lane. Yeah. Wait a minute now, this is a you whole You gotta enjoy shop. cooking. You gotta have fun with food. Absolutely, I 100% agree. Boom, okay, and then we're gonna get into that orange. Right on, right on, and we're gonna do the exact same thing with that. But for the orange, you guys, be tricky, because if you have a super, super, super juicy orange, mm -hmm. you're only gonna need about half of that. Okay. So let's start, the, start with the first one and see how much juice we got out okay. of it. Oh, yes. You see that? All that juice. Ooh, did I get a lot of juice out of mine? I don't think you did. I think you would need both of yours. Okay, because uh -huh. I didn't see a lot of right, juice. Right, because I got a good amount in mine. Okay, let me try the second one to see what I can make happen. What's happening? Oh, there it is. All right, I saw some that time. The first Look. time I was a little concerned. <laughs> Look, there it is. All right. There he is. My went. God. My God. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, we're going to um, just give this a little toss, you know? Okay. Let's go ahead and toss this together. 
You have your spatula over there, you guys. Now that this is, well, so what's happening right now, that acidity is already starting to interact with that shrimp okay. and already start to slowly mm. and very slowly cook that shrimp up the tip. You guys, the best thing to do with the ceviche is to cook it and then, uh, excuse me, is to prep it and then sit it to the side for about five or ten minutes okay. and then go into that first bite. Okay. But listen, you know through the magic of TV, we're ready for it today. Yeah. Come on. So, Chris, listen. We gotta add in our secret ingredient again, okay? You ready for that? Yeah. Listen, we're gonna go right up. Boom! Yeah. She already knew! Yeah. Listen, you guys, tahini almost goes in everything. Don't think it's just a fruit ingredient, okay? Mm -hmm. I put that on everything, okay? Yes, so we're gonna go right into the bowl. Oh, look, you opened yours already. Chris. Mm -hmm. Give me some. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We're gonna sprinkle right over the top. Yes. And so what we're doing is just oh, backing you up. Oh, well, it. Well, I oh, like Tahini. I don't know how you feel about it. Okay. Hey, look, I'm like tap the, my, my auntie in my head. She said, add a little, add a lot. It's add your little, business. Add a lot. I like spice. I like the city that it gives, okay. you know. Okay. Boom. So we're gonna just mix that up together one more time. If you look in your bowl, Chris, you can already see your shrimp starting to turn a little pink. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely turning pink mm -hmm. as we move it around in the bowl, as if it's being heated. Absolutely, but it's just those juices at the bottom, just those straight liquids, you know? It's amazing what vegetable acid can do. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Now, my favorite part about it is it's the garnishing of it, you know? Okay. And, you know, we don't waste no food for where we're from, so we're actually just going to take some of our carrot tops and garnish it with it, you know? Give it a little something extra. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So come on, Chris, you have your bowls there. Let's fill up your platter. I'm going to fill up my platter. Ooh. So I'm going to taste yours and you're going to taste mine. Yes, you know that's how it's going to yeah. go. You already know. I'll make sure you got it right. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. So I can't wait. And this is like a perfect little bite for an appetizer, so you know? Look and at it's it. comfortable and it looks nice. And look, we're not even And done. it's healthy. Absolutely. So you don't have to worry about messing up your Fine body. body, hello, keeping it right, keeping it tight, the whole 20 year. <laughs> Come on, y'all, let's get into 2022, it. 2022, I'm ready for you. Yes. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm ready to taste, Chef. Can we taste? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so you have your oh, bowls made. You got one more bowl one over more there. One more bowl. I'm rushing you, and I, I got right. one more bowl. So look, you guys, the very next thing is, I love you presentation is everything yes, you know so like right. i said we're just going to garnish this up with a little our tortilla chip and some carrot top okay. meaning we're literally just going to pick a little sprig from our display table here oh yes you know much? oh yeah like a little sprig you okay. know just so something easy and simple we're going to just put it right on the top of that like give it add a little freshness to that ceviche oh yes come on chris you better garnish yes. <laughs> it is so awesome i know how to add a little pop to something look okay yes. <laughs> that, and that is literally what we're doing yes. adding a little pop and then we're going to finish that with our tortilla chip like right in the middle you know stand it up you guys it adds a little height to it you know just gives it that little so extra I need a look. bigger chip hold on look at me <laughs> oh there we go yeah. oh, that looks so pretty you know this is actually fine dining. This looks like this stuff is. you'll see in the restaurant. I almost can't believe I'm making this myself. Look, okay. Well, you know, making it is one thing. Now we got to see what it tastes like. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready, Chris, I'm ready. Okay, so look, I'm going to pass you mine. Okay, okay, go ahead. Here you go. Pass me yours. Okay, okay. tasting spoon. Tasting First, I'm going to try with the spoon, then I'm going to go with the chip. Okay. Let's Ooh, try Chris, let's see. Vegetables. My God. Oh, Ooh, you did it again. Oh, it's so flavorful. You like that, right? Oh, I love the spoon. My God. Look, you mm. want the tortilla chip, huh? <laughs> oh, this is, you know, I'm not going to let y'all catch me eating on TV. I'm going to go for it. But, man, this is amazing. And Chef, Chef Willie's story is amazing. And it really, I'm excited about this. I can't wait for you guys to try this for yourself. As you can see, we gave you a step-by-step -step one, too. So, with that being said, if you're an entrepreneur, you have a brand or a small business, and you want to be highlighted, please call me, 832-881-4331, and you can be the next city highlight. Like Chef Willie. Yes. How was your experience? Listen, amazing, amazing. This has been so fun. Thank you so much for having me today. You know, I, I've shared a story. I didn't even know I was going to share publicly, right. but look at God. Look he at brought God. us to the, brought us together. And I love that. And maybe my story can touch someone, you know. Maybe and that's it can. what it's all about. Honestly. There is there is importance of sharing your story because somebody else can be healed. Absolutely. You know, and, and the, the biggest thing that I can go away with telling anybody is, you know, you, you, if you fail, keep going. You know, you don't have to be a product of don't your environment. Give up on don't you. give up any of that stuff. But in all honesty, 
Can I be real? Yes, please. This Listen. is a city highlight. Entrepreneurship isn't for everyone. You mm. have to be super dedicated, super determined. I literally work seven days a week. Right. Like, I have no off days, maybe after 7 o'clock at nighttime. You know wow. what I mean? But literally, it is the hardest job I've ever had. Also, the most rewarding. Yeah, I that's what completely I enjoy not having a boss. I completely right. enjoy not having a clock right. in. I completely enjoy me running me. You know, there's no one telling me what to do in my business, and that's what I really like about it. So this is why I had to highlight it. If you want, like in real life, like like I said, it's really not for everybody. But if you think you have a passion, go for it. Like I'm finally walking in my purpose, Chris, and I am here for it. Like I am so here for it. Man, so, I'm God. so excited for you, Chef Willie. I'm excited about the journey, and I'm excited about you guys tuning in. Thank you again for listening to the City Highlights with your girl, Chris. Bye, guys. Bye, you guys. Thank you.